So as you can see, uh, we've uh, got a trampoline here in the backyard. I uh, just set this up today, actually. The interesting thing about this uh, trampoline is, uh, I, you, some of you guys know that I have uh, 12 kids and I have seven grandkids. And um, so I, through the years, I have put up a lot of trampolines. I mean, pr probably a half a dozen of them. So I'm just gonna say, you know, with my maintenance background and my engineering background and the fact that I have a master's in engineering, I don't really need instructions on how to put a trampoline together. And as a matter of fact, when I took this one out of the box, I, I glanced at the instructions just to get the basic configuration. I'm like, oh, I got this. This is just like all the other ones I built. And it was almost exactly like all the other ones I built, except for one thing. The little posts that hook to the top of the net, or where that hooks to the top of the net, there's a very specific spot for each one of those, and I've never had a trampoline that had that. Usually you can just rope it in wherever you want to rope it in. Well, I missed that in the instructions. So I was about eight springs off. So I had the whole thing in place and was ready to put the net up, and I was about eight springs off. I had to shift it, so I had to take all the springs loose and shift it around eight springs, and then boom, now it's good to go. As you can see, it seems to be working quite well. So now, am I a bad guy? Am I a bad maintenance guy, a bad builder, a bad engineer? Because I didn't take the time to really read the instructions. You know, I mean, that's a, you can judge that if you want to, but the fact of the matter is, is I'm skill-based when it comes to put together, putting together something this simple. It's really not that hard. But if there's a little deviation, something different, some, something, some difference that I'm not used to, I could miss it and end up having to back up and, and redo some of my work. So no, no harm, no foul. I mean, there's nothing bad that happened out of this. It just took me about 15 minutes longer to put it together, which was a bit frustrating for the kids because they wanted to play. So I just thought I'd share another little hop thought about performance modes. And something really interesting to me is that when I ordered this earlier in the week, I was wanting to get this thing in here and you know, Amazon, everybody buys from Amazon, they can have it delivered by Wednesday. So I just ordered it right off the bat. I thought, man, it's good. It, was, it seemed a little bit pricey. It's a, it's a pretty good size, well, I think a 15 foot diameter. But I thought, man, it seems a little high, but whatever, I, I want to get it in there for the kids so they can have a fun time playing on this weekend. Well, what I didn't realize is I had somehow clicked two. So I bought two of them. God, sometimes. But the, I guess, you know, all, all things can work together at, at times, for even, even with an error like that. So now it's that beautiful little girl back there bouncing is uh, my granddaughter. So her and her two sisters, so my three granddaughters, are going to get a trampoline also because I ordered two by mistake. So that little error actually worked out pretty good for these guys. Um, and, uh, you know, so sometimes error is not all bad, right? So there it is. Another little thought about performance modes. Uh, Skill-based guys don't look at instructions very much. And when we do, we could miss something pretty important. Um, in this case, eight spring positions off.